So here we are again in Dee's garden and I've got a picture on my Facebook of her gardens a couple a while ago when she did her second raised garden bed over there. But what concerns her is the soil in these raised garden beds just continually drops and she wants to know how to fill it up uh, when she's got plants that she's trying to grow in there. And also she's concerned about the ants in her pot. So we're going to go over to Bob now and see what he has to say. What I would do in this situation is as you take plants out, replace them with the same soil you've got there. So you bit by bit you're raising the level. Because obviously you can't take it all out because you've got plants in there and they're going to have plants at all the same time. But you're going to be harvesting some. So you can get a small amount, maybe by the bag, and just fill up the part that you've taken the plants out. So bit by bit you're filling up the, 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 the container. You know, and do you think there. that'll solve the problem? Of, um... That will raise the, because it's going to continually drop as the, as the nutrients are used up, um, as you yeah, decompose the material there, yes, it's going to, to keep on dropping. So you need to top it up. Okay, so the ant problem then? The ant problem is there's, there's no, there was some ants in here which came from outside. Initially I was told that there was an ant nest. It's not an ant nest because you, by working in there, you would very quickly find the ants coming out to find out what's disturbed them. So the ants have come from the outside. You're always going to have some ants going everywhere just looking for food. So they're going to be there constantly in all gardens, in all places. You can use other plants um, to use this and they are, they don't like the smell, but in this case there's nothing on this side. But if you don't have a problem, there's no point in fixing it. This will this will certainly work. So the marigold and basil are said to repel yeah, plants. They repel. There's the it's the smell of them. Um, the, yeah, it repels the plants. And if and you ants. and if you did happen to get an ant nest in there, what would you do? You disturb it, and so the queen then goes some, and lays the eggs somewhere else. And that's a, all it takes. That's all it takes. So what about borax? Have you heard of that treatment? It or is, you... but it's fairly toxic to plants and humans in, in large quantities. So don't put your borax don't in an ant borax. nest it's, in your veggie garden. You can sterilise the soil by using borax. So you can put borax say, onto your, your pathway to stop anything growing there. Oh, is that right? Yes. Oh, okay. Or you can use this ordinary salt because what it does is cause a chemical, chemical burn and um, as long as it, the salt doesn't wash off into a, a desirable place, yeah, you can use salt um, to sterilise your pathway. So what's the difference then between borax and salt? It's re a greatly reduced price in salt. Oh, okay. <laughs> $1.20 for two kilos. Oh, but it does the same job. It does the same job. Brilliant advice there, Bob. Thank you.